So I'm trying this new thing where I'm trying to like eggs and eat them and add them more to my diet because I just don't have enough protein in my diet. Well, I went to the grocery store and I stood in front of the egg section for a very long time trying to figure out what in the world do I buy? Because there's so many of them. Well, I had to call a phone a friend in a mountain healthcare. Sarah Browning is here with me. She's a dietitian. Sarah, you got to help me out because I'm confused. And I think there's got to be other people out there confused too, right? <laughs> you are not alone. There are so many choices in that grocery oh. aisle these days. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's talk first things first. The prices range by so much. So does more expensive mean better or does it not? More expensive doesn't necessarily mean better. So if you can only afford the cheapest eggs, that's still a really high quality protein. And I would encourage you to purchase those. There are some added benefits that you can get from an egg that has spent time outside or in the pasture. But if that is not something that you can afford, you're still going to get a high quality protein. Okay. So if you can maybe like reach for the organic or the farm raised, pasture raised, that kind of thing, but it's not the end of the world if you can't. Correct. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. So the color of the eggs, white eggs, brown eggs, you know, I was thinking, oh, brown must mean it's organic and healthy, but that's not the case. <laughs> So true. And I think often we think, oh, brown means healthier, right? It's like whole grain bread. But the color of the egg is determined by the breed of chicken that laid that egg. So some chickens lay white eggs, some lay brown. There are even those that lay blue and green. It's just the breed of the chicken and doesn't affect the nutrition content. How interesting. Okay. I mean, clearly I know nothing about eggs. I think if it's not obvious from this. Now, the descriptions on the boxes, there were a lot and some were so similar that I wasn't sure, does that mean the same thing or does that mean something different? So let's talk about those. Yeah, that's a great question because there are so many things that are written on those boxes. It's not regulated. So if a box says that it's free range or free pasture, hopefully that means that you're getting an egg that has spent time outside where it might get more sunshine, which means that egg could be higher in vitamin D, or it might mean if it's pasture or if, it, if that box says they were raised on pasture, that could mean that they were out eating grass and bugs and that raises their omega-3 content, but it's really subjective. And again, it's not regulated. So you hope that means you're getting a higher quality egg, but it's not a guarantee. But I think what I've learned from this is all in all, like, Eggs still will offer me a good source of protein, especially if my options are limited. If I have a lot of options, then I can pick. But honestly, it sounds like it's not a bad option either way, right? Yep, not a bad option. You can get a high quality protein either way. Okay, well, this is why I always love the dietitians at Air Mountain because you guys have helped me through so much. I had it one on one for so many years. So, Sarah, you and all of your other colleagues, I appreciate you. If they want more information or want to get a dietitian and talk more with you, where can they go? Yeah, you can get more nutrition information at intermountainhealthcare.org. Fantastic. Thanks for helping me out. I'm going to be thinking of all you, the things you said next time in the grocery aisle. <laughs>